made things a lot faster. And I wouldn't necessarily say dumbed down. They do definitely they save a lot of time uh, in doing certain things that would take longer in the older versions. But as far as capabilities are concerned, the older tools do pretty much the same thing as the newer ones. Okay, now let's get to down to the core of what we're trying to do here. Um, we're not Jungle Book, and we want to customize this very basic template. And that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. We want to change this header to look like our company's header. We want to not have all this content, or maybe customize this content to where it makes sense for us. And we're going to add a little signature on the bottom. So what I have already done for you is I have already created some images which I want to use for a header. And I have one which is feedback dash email dash two dot jpeg. They're both jpegs. I designed these in um, another of the Adobe products. You can create it in Photoshop or Dream or Fireworks or anything that you that allows you to edit text or create images and so forth. So um, the important thing to remember is that the dimensions or the size, the width, and the height of the image should be where it matches the height and the width of the existing image. Now, when I say that, keep in mind, it does not mean that you cannot change it or have a different height and width. But in order to do that, you must be able to change a little bit of the code as well. Um, and since I don't want to get into explaining how the code works right now, I just want to simply tell you how you guys can customize an existing template and make it your own. So we're going to try to keep things uh, as similar as possible to the original email template. And in this email template, if I look at the properties, I think this... Uh, it doesn't say what the width is here, but I think I already did the uh, calculations, and it comes to it comes to about 598 pixels wide by 153 pixels high. And don't worry about all the pixels and stuff like that. But that just means that it's 598 is the width, and 153 is the height of this image uh, in order to fit in this template. I think my height may be a little more than what that template requires, but but anyways, so now the first thing that I want to change here is this image. In order to do that, when you click on the image in the design view, the code responsible for making this image appear here will get highlighted. And right now I see that there's this piece of code highlighted. In here, the only thing that you have to look at is where it says SRC, and SRC means source. What it says is the source for this image is where. Where is this image coming from? And in this case, it says source is coming from in a folder called IMG for image. And inside that folder, there is an image called logo underscore two column dot JPEG. Well, we want to get rid of this. We want to put our own image on here. Now, how do we do that? All right, we're back to our first screen. And while we're back here, I wanted to show you guys how does this image um, thing work and how we need to FTP our images to a server where our site is so we can embed those images and send them out as an email template and allow anybody who receives that email to view that image. An FTP program uh, stands for File Transfer Protocol. In all that means is it's a program that allows you to log into your server wherever your website is hosted or if you have access to one um, you definitely need to have a location where you can host these images I'm going to use uh, my example with my site kamikaze.com um, and in the images folders inside my websites folder I'm going to place the images that I need uh, to appear on my email template so in order to do that, I must have a program, uh, which is an FTP program, which allows me to connect to a server. And that's really simple too. The program that I use, and there are lots of programs out there that are FTP programs that allow you to transfer files between your computer and the server, back and forth. The one that I use is Leech FTP. And you can find Leech FTP simply by going to Google and typing in Leech FTP. It's a free utility, and you can simply click on it, download it. It's a very small program. will take very little resources on your computer. Um, and once you've downloaded it, you open up Leech FTP. You come to this interface. You go to File, go to Connect. You enter the address of your server, and your uh, webmaster will be able to tell you what the name of your, uh, your server is. You enter that name up here, then you have a username password that you will be assigned so you can access 
the directory. Once you click OK, you will be inside your website. Okay, what we're seeing on the left side, I'm sorry, I've got my left and rights confused. I've never been able to get over that. Anyways, so on the left side, basically you're seeing your computer. And I went into our HTML email templates folder. Actually, I need to be in another folder where we have all of these image files. Okay. And on the right side, I see what is on the server. My files. These are all the files that I have for my website and a whole bunch of other folders. Now, what I want to do is I want to replace this image with an image that I have created, which will be, let's say, this one. The name of the image that I've created is feedback-email-2.jpg. Okay, the name is important because you need to have that name in the address so that it can link to the image in your email template. So I'm going to just copy that name. Now, I need to move this image to the server. I am inside my website's main folder. I will go into the images folder, which is called images here. Now it doesn't have to be in the images folder, it can be in any folder at all, uh, and it can be in your in your site, in the main area. Uh, it doesn't matter where it's located, location is really up to you, it's just you need to know where it is. Um, I always put things that are image related in the images folder, so it's just easier to remember that way. I'm going to take the feedback-email-2jpg file from my computer, wherever it's located, you will find it. And it's just like any other folder management program. You can drill up, drill down. Uh, so, anyways, I've already located position of my of the file, and I'm going to drag it and simply drop it here. And what it's doing right now, it and it did it really fast. It simply transport transferred the image from my computer to the server. I'll refresh that. Let's go back to the editor. Now, I click back on the image. Once I click on the image, I've got the code highlighted up here. And remember I said the only area we need to worry about working with is the source. And in this case, we're going to specify the source. And here's how you do it. In my case, my website's name is kamikazmi.com. 